So we have via the Associated Press, and this article has been uh, that is what, what just what, it's it's that, a wire that 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 headline is just like it's 2024. Like, like, it's like yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's where we're at. It's going to get worse before it gets so better. So prosecutors, yeah, prosecutors say neo-Nazi murder cult leader plotted to give poison candy to Jewish kids in New York City. I'm going to read the first paragraph here, the lead. The leader the, of a neo-Nazi extremist group based in Eastern Europe has been charged with plotting to have an associate dress up as Santa Claus and hand out poison candy to Jewish children in New York City to sow, to sow terror. Do you have any guesses as to which Eastern European country this neo-Nazi group might be based? Any guesses at all? Because it doesn't say in the yeah. article. It's just... <laughs> it's, yeah. So you have... Uh, let me just pull up the criminal complaint. And actually another error in, 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 that, uh, in that lead um, is that the, this indicted individual, um, Mikhail... Turkishvili, I'm probably butchering that it's Georgian, um, mm. is cited as the as the leader. Well, he's not the leader. The leader is in prison, presumably still in Ukraine. Um, so this is the criminal complaint against this Georgian, uh, this young man from Georgia. Um, mm. Some quotes that are attributed to him in this criminal complaint and the way that criminal complaints are work is that the, you have the FBI basically um, the agent on the case giving their uh, testimony and basically uh, understanding of the facts. Um, mm. So I'm Commander Butcher, National Socialist since birth and curator of the MMC. That's the Maniacs Murder Cult. I can proudly say I've murdered for the white race and willing to bring more of chaos to this rotten world. This book is for readers who are cruel warriors or are willing to become one and are ready to step on massive actions. Our main goal is to spread the flames of Lucifer and continue his mission of ethnic cleansing, great drive of purification. So this guy was was basically distributing bomb-making materials and instructions on how to invade law enforcement. Um, this group is quite disturbing, and we'll get it a little bit into it. We're not going to get too much into it because it's frankly too disturbing. Um but uh, among these, uh, um, th this this guy he wrote uh, the Maniacs Handbook, uh, which is distributed to uh, members of the Maniacs Murder Call. Uh, the document describes methods and strategies for committing mass terror attacks, including, for example, using vehicles to target large outdoor festivals, conventions, celebrations, and parades, and pedestrian con congested streets. It also specifically encourages committing attacks within the United States. Uh, Cherkishvili provided materials such as bomb-making instructions to facilitate his desire for UC-1 to carry out these violent crimes. You see one is the undercover FBI agent he was in contact with. Uh, some quote, and actually this this guy had has been to New York City several times. He had a job there briefly. Uh, and he claims that he killed an elderly Jewish man. I'm working in a rehab center privately in Jewish family. I get paid to torture dying Jew. I think I almost killed him today, actually. If he dies soon, that's kill strike on me. Uh, individual, this is according to the FBI, individuals wishing to join the Maniacs Murder Cult must record and submit videos of themselves com committing violent acts like brutal beatings, arson, and murder. Cherkishvili has made detailed and uh, specific overtures to UC1, that's the undercover FBI agent, to commit acts of mass violence, in particular murders of racial minorities, Jews, and homeless individuals in New York City on behalf of the cult, including bombings, arsons, and the spreading of poisons such as ricin. Uh, Turkishvili devised a scheme to murder racial minorities and other New York City and others in New York City on New Year's Eve by dressing up as Santa Claus and handing out candy laced with poison. Uh, he told UC1 that they should execute their plan where there would be, quote, most people operating and suggested targeting the, quote, Jewish community. He further noted that Jews are literally everywhere in Brooklyn and suggested executing the attack on some Jewish holiday and at Jewish schools full of kids. He added dead Jewish kids. So hmm. this document mentions Ukraine twice. Once it notes in passing 
that the leader, the actual leader of this organization is Ukrainian. There's a huge amount of reporting, not in English, there's virtually none in English, but a huge amount of reporting in Russian because Russia has had a problem with this organization. Um, so I'm just going to translate this page really quick. A group of teenagers calling themselves a national socialist cult have been beating and stabbing people in the Ukrainian city of Dnipro for over a year. These victims were homeless people, visitors, and random passerbys. Dozens of attacks were filmed and published on Telegram channels. This attracted a flock outside of Ukraine and in Russia, also at the uh, attention of security forces. So the FSB has arrested some 16 members of this group um, and basically waged a war on them and 2019 they haven't been in the in the news really since but the leader is in prison in ukraine or at least was at the time that this article was written zelensky of course has let out uh no small amount of hardcore you know murderers from prison mm -hmm. to fight in the war um whether this guy is still in jail or not isn't really known um but here's some fsb footage of of them arresting uh members of the of the organization and uh i would also point out that russian media reports at the time which noted that this organization was based in ukraine and i think there's some 30 murders tied to them um th th this investigation that i have up now from currenttime.tv uh it's it's a it's a gold mine of of, of information um but they note something like 32 separate uh attacks uh filmed and distributed uh by this organization they they um make everything black and white they use like fancy cuts and put over horror core music of their killings uh openly bragging about it again proof of a proof of a attack or killing or an arson of some kind is required for joining this organization um and its leader while he is in prison was able to communicate with the journalist who authored this article. He had a mm. phone. He bribed the guards. He admits as much. Um, so, you know, and, and he notes that, you know, this is all possible through bribes mm. because he's still, you know, participating in these group chats and tell on telegram uh, with, with this call um, because he bribed the Ukrainian prison guards. So, I mean, I think it's important to point out that, uh, this is not a group that is tied to the Ukrainian military, no. as far as we know. There's no evidence of that. On the other hand, these people are psychopaths and they're Nazis. And what I think this story really illustrates is that the, the inherent danger of, of the U.S. supporting people of this ideology, because while some of them may be in the military and might not be, you know, stabbing random homeless people on the streets, uh, they're inspiring those kinds of people. Um, mm -hmm. And, you know, as, as both you and I have covered, there's been, uh, there's been, you know, Azov fighters who have plotted terrorist attacks in the West. There was an Azov fighter who plotted to attack a shopping mall in Naples uh, in Italy. So, yeah. I, mean, I mean, I think, go ahead. Well, I think it's well, like just what I just find really interesting when you mentioned the media blackout on this, like yeah. it is not, it, it isn't a coincidence. Like it can't be because, like, the, 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 uh, I, I made this point at the time uh, in February 2023. There, the um, and this is after like two years of the Biden administration talking about um, the threat of uh, extreme white extremist terrorism and uh, racially or ethnically motivated terrorist attacks on U.S. soil, and and they published a dedicated national security strategy to address this alleged threat. Um, in February 2023, there were these two individuals who were tied to Atomwaffen, which is called the, the, also known as the National Socialist Resistance Front, who were planning to blow up el electrical substations, which served the majority black city of Baltimore, Maryland, in a bid to deprive citizens of heat and light during winter, which is very harsh um, in um, in Maryland. Like this, this would have killed loads of people. Um, uh, and this, there was like total silence on this. It's like this is this is the homegrown, ethnically driven terror that you've been warning of, and then it, actually you don't say anything. Um, 
could that possibly be because one of the um, uh, indictees, one of the atom weapon plotters, um, had repeatedly visited Ukraine, had ties with Azov, and attended a neo-Nazi black music festival uh, not far from Kiev, uh, which typically features Azov activists on stage? Um, I think probably yes. Um, like, that, 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 that there can be little doubt that there was a deliberate effort to, to, to whitewash this. Hey everyone, um, if you enjoyed this video or, or any of our other content, uh, please give us a follow on Twitter or subscribe to us on YouTube. It will help us beat the algorithm oligarchs. Thank you.